Dear God, please save my daddy for the accident where it happened. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I was in the truck and then I saw a police officer coming by and he was like, um, are you familiar with the guy that was working here? And I was like, yeah, it's my husband. And I was like, he was run over. When I was sitting in the, in the, in the, in the asphalt, I remember like, I, I remember like somebody kicked my legs and then snap is like a, the back of the trailer of the truck. It was on top of me. Um, is when I felt like somebody's pulling my arm to the ground, and it was a, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 inches wheel pressing me down to the floor. I remember my face; it was in in middle of my knees and hitting the floor. Uh, I spent like four weeks totally sleeping under the drugs. And I remember when I wake up, uh, they told me, they start, they start telling me, you know what, um, your, your left kidney fell, so we remove it. Uh, your spleen explode. Um, part of your, uh, your ileus, um, um, we need to cut because it was totally compressed. So it was not gonna be able to work in the future. Uh, my left side of the colon, they remove it. Um, the, um, the, they call it sigmoid. Uh, it was totally closed. Uh, my left lung was a, a tiny hole for, for one of the ribs, so I started having problems with my lungs. Uh, my liver, my, my, my left scapula that was broken. I, the, the lazy was huge. All the nurses were surprised, the doctor were surprised by the end of the month. He went to the recovery and the same thing, what do you want for your husband? Well, I want him to be able to walk. God made that miracle in one week. He was walking, he was recovering his strength. So all the way, um, God was faithful. God was helping us, giving the peace to my kids, the peace to our families, the conviction that he's working in our lives, that he do what, what he says and his word, that he doesn't leave us alone. I remember we searched that rock in the yellow pages. So we were like, a, oh yeah, we see the address and everything. And we went there to the church. To the church. But in the, in the, in the, in the, um, when we arrived here, we saw La Roca in, in, in Spanish. So we were like, what? It's like, a, what happened here? Say, oh yeah, it's, a, it's a, the, Spanish service. the Spanish service. So you have Spanish service? So great, let's go to La Roca. Because we were scared to be in the rock because our English at that time is still it's really still. bad. <laughs> but we were like, maybe we not gonna understand. So when we found out that it was a Spanish service, for me it was, a, for me it was like God's telling me, here's the rock, here's your rock. I really want to also uh, besides obviously praise God to to say thank you for all the people from La Roca and even from The Rock because I receive a lot of letters and uh, you know grading cards saying like you know what we're praying for you we're, we're doing this and it was not just a card you can see the love because they write a lot of things and and they put a lot of you know verse from the you know from the Bible and I, I still have those so I want to thank La Roca and we really appreciate, we, we feel the love of God through this, this church. So we really feel like family.